brother. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> and this is the end. <laughs> Shit. And we're just gonna shoot news down your throat right now. Yeah. Just some fast shot gaming news. Let's just go. Yeah. So the first topic is Street Fighter. Yeah, Street Fighter is obviously being presented at E3, but apparently some people are frustrated that it's not coming to Xbox. No shit. It's kind of expected. <laughs> it's kind of being funded by Sony, at least in the sense of, um, yeah. well, just uh, like ads and shit. Yeah. That's all they care about. I mean, they're a publisher, essentially. So all they're doing is like, hey, buy our game, you know, at the end of the day. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's going to come out for like super two turbo edition. Probably not, <laughs> because it's still published by Sony. So right. that's another thing to consider. So next topic. It's a bummer. Boomer. Microsoft might have a deal with Oculus Rift. Oh snap! So Microsoft looks like they're working together with Oculus Rift, not only on the PC side, but on the Xbox side, which is which makes sense because they're doing the whole like convergence, like everything goes off of Windows 10. Yeah, everything works together, which is also another topic that we have on. Is it? Yeah, it is. We'll hit the bottom. I mean, we can hit it right now. So they're work they're looking at working together and combining all these different tools to come together under Windows 10, which if it's a good OS, will be great. Find out if it's a good OS. I think it's supposed to be in July, mid July when it's officially yeah. you can switch. But right now, if you're on your computer, you can you can go to your the bottom little settings, and they've probably already mentioned to you, hey, you, you want to try out Windows 10, and we'll put you on the waiting list. So make sure you sign up for that yeah. if you if you want. <laughs> I heard don't do there, there's a people can't access the beta right now, but yeah. I've heard like don't do it if it's your only operating system. Exactly. Because you'll kind of shoot yourself. Yeah, if you don't know how to switch between two and whatever. And yeah. You're not good. You're not very computer savvy. Don't do it. Yeah. Um, mom. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but yeah. Okay. Next big one is YouTube is getting into the streaming world. It kind of already does, but I've tried it before. You might have seen a video of me doing it, and it was horrible. Oh really? Yeah. Oh god. What was horrible about? It's the main thing is bad. It just everything about it was very foreign. Okay. It didn't it didn't put everything correctly like it had on my screen where it was the full screen. It only picked part of it. Oh, okay. And just ran with that, which so you can see a Your horrible. Your eyes are like watering. I know. So I, think, I think Ruby's just destroyed me. Oh god. I think the, the sides of it are just really blurry, and like like it actually it's there, but it just looks terrible. Okay. So uh, they're gonna go really like put the effort into it and make it work. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited about that. That's might, good. I think we should switch over to it. But we'll keep talking about yeah. that. Yeah. We, we definitely need to check out to see what they're offering. Yeah. And if they're gonna be, um, <clears throat> uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If it's gonna be easy to transition uh, for us, because yeah, we're we're currently only on Twitch, but if we transfer over there, obviously we want to take you guys with us. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I think that's gonna, how it's gonna operate. <laughs> too. It's just gonna turn to subscribers from there. Mm -hmm. So. So, next topic is Amazon Fire has a game stream that's going on right now. It actually started on the second, unbeknownst to us. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> but it comes in the... <laughs> Come on, Amazon. Like, <laughs> email me. We're supposed to be gaming news. Oh. <laughs> it, but it comes to you in packs. It costs seven bucks. Yeah, a lot and of you, these... You, yeah, you get these packs, and you're going to say like, a lot of them are old... Sometimes they're shitty. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll answer it for you. They're shitty. Um, like they got like an action. Yeah, so uh, it's not really the same model as Netflix. They're, I think they're trying to attract the same customers in gotcha. the sense where they're like, hey, remember that shitty old horror game? Yeah. Or horror movie? Don't you want to watch it? Hey, remember that shitty Lego game? Don't yeah. you want to play it? So many. Yeah, they got a Lego pack, which is just what you think it is. They got a speed pack, which is just racing and flying fucking games. It's bullshit games. They, they got, got a got... shitty pack where they bring all these kinds of shitty fucking games. Like yeah. Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's called the Broken Pack, actually. Yeah. It doesn't even download all the way. Yeah. <laughs> so there's plenty of games. Blocks you out. That they're working with based on genres and stuff like that. I think one was like Prey. But a lot of them are old. Yeah, like Prey. Like I mean, Batman. Prey is a great game. Batman Arkham Asylum, which again, great game, but that game is old. Super old. Why would you pay any money for it? Yeah, I mean, I get it. Seven bucks for all these different games, but it sounds like um, like Humble Bundle to me. Yeah, this doesn't seem like it's meant for gamers. It seems like it's meant for somebody who's like, I could be a gamer. And yeah, or what's the easiest way to do it? Or, or uh, they're unsure of their own demographic, how to even, yeah, you know, <laughs> advertise to them. Which is, you know, disconnect is definitely depressing. But in case you're a filthy casual, maybe you should check it out. Definitely. So next up is the Redbox is expanding their library to include more, more titles, more exclusive console exclusive titles. Yeah. Have you ever looked at Redbox's title? No, I've like, never. Done they only that. keep the classics. Like, really. Call of Duty or NBA or NFL blank, and it's really it. They'll throw a couple in there, like they they have Destiny in some of them, 
I can't imagine those discs coming back in proper condition. Yeah. No? Um, I heard that somebody peels the, like apparently you can just peel off the sticker and put it back in the case and it like reads the sticker. Oh God! And so there's just tons. Don't of, like, do that, guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there's there's shit like that that they they do all the time. I think Which that's is great. that's been upping their uh, their, <laughs> their visits to the red box machines. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, shit, wow. another one. <laughs> People are coming in droves. Yeah, we're losing so, a lot of. Definitely money. depressing. There's obviously like Lego games, but there's really nothing on there. So upping their their repertoire, as it were, yeah. is definitely something that they should be looking forward to. Better deal though. Not three bucks a, a day. Three bucks for a day? That's eh. Sony, I guess, does that already, but even that's not very good. Silly. At least you don't have to leave. That's the problem with Redbox is that if you don't turn it in in time, which I guess is a day. It's nine o'clock, yeah. You're like, fuck. <laughs> fuck, three more bucks down the drain. Which is terrible. Yeah. Microtransactions are rumored to be a Metal Gear Solid 5. Now, we called that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we actually had a. It was an April 1st video. <laughs> it was an April 1st video. Um, and we did it as a joke, but it looks like that might be coming to fruition. There's a, there's a rumor going on. Like a map or a, a, a weapons pack and all this weird stuff. It it's looks all rumors. It's yeah. It looks like Konami's going this like silly route. I mean, if it if it gets deconfirmed, that's fine. Yeah. Especially by the time this video comes out, because I want it to be. Because I want that game to succeed. But it seems like Konami's trying to be the like Japanese EA or something. Yeah. <laughs> like they're really just fucking up. They're like, how bad can we get in one year? Let's test it out, you guys. Yeah, test in the like, water. It, it really started at the beginning of the year. Yeah. And they just took a shit. <laughs> Next year it's gonna be full blown concentration camps. Yeah, what they're dude, gonna do. It's gonna be awful. They're gonna ward off people and they're like, mobile yeah. only! No. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely something that's can really da- uh, destroy the game and Maybe if there's a, a, a if there was actually a disconnect between Kojima and his boss or upper management, Maybe that might be a reason. Could have been it. <laughs> yeah, He's like it's gonna ruin the game. <laughs> <They're> like <laughs> get out, you're fired. You know? <laughs> so. Next up, the new consoles are expected to be upgraded. Probably announced at E3. Yeah, um, a lot of people are freaking out because they're like, oh shit, they're gonna upgrade the consoles. No, it's yes, but it's. Like, miniature, like mid-year update, mid, yeah. mid, mid-run update. Yeah, you're looking at your slims and, and whatnot. Terabyte. Terabyte uh, storage for both consoles, which is great, especially for the Xbox. Yeah, that one's going to be Holy reduced shit. to 350, and then it released, I'm sure, the terabyte version for 400 again, I'm sure. Which... Well, they said that the one gig terabyte was going to be 350. Oh, really? Consistent, across the board. Oh. For Xbox One. Um, Very I cool. did not see a thing about uh, PS4, but... It's expected. I can't expect that... Microsoft's making all that much money immediately off of making it 350 yeah. for a terabyte. Um, with that change, I'm sure there's a couple cosmetic changes, uh, which we'll probably see at E3. There's probably going to be more of an emphasis on uh, making both systems, because they're loud, um, quiet. more quiet and less heat generated. Because holy shit, it gets hot in my room real quick when I'm playing on uh, PS4. Uh, hot in the house actually it's really like, it's a heater bro wow it's terrible i didn't know that i played too much but yeah <laughs> it's it's definitely coming they're upgrading the, the the cooling system they're making the ps4 uh a little bit different maybe a little bit lighter a couple other things here and there dimensionally maybe a little bit different so we'll see at e3 very cool <laughs> the uh, assassin's creed has announced a potential world tour oh god so uh, Assassin's Creed is pretty much doing this thing where they're like, hey, you know what? We're going to go ahead and drop these, uh, or, you know, if you submit essentially a letter to the, it's like submitting a letter to like Captain America telling him to come visit your fucking school. Yeah. Um, and if they have enough reception or whatever the case is, they might actually stop by your location, allowing you to test the game to check it out. If there's enough fan, uh, fan outcry for it, allowing you to test the game, check it out, play it, and get feedback on it. Which uh, Spencer and I spoke of sounds a bit like a fucking PR stunt. Yeah. Um, to be something where you can be like, oh well, you know, you guys asked for it, we put it in. <laughs> you got, you guys want dinosaurs? Yeah. <laughs> I think they should. I think everybody should band together and request dinosaurs. That'd be great. Just do it. <laughs> but it looks like, uh, if anything, it's a PR stunt. It sounds like a scapegoat with it. But you know, it's just an opinion, of course. For all we know, they could be going, you know, the tried and true method of, you know, begging for forgiveness. <laughs> yeah. Which, hey, why not? But you know what? Though, good for them, I think, in, in the long run. If they PR stunt or not, just 
do it, do it, whatever you gotta do, and then release a non-broken game. Yeah. And that's fine. Release that's a non-broken game is gonna be fulfilling. I mean, Watch Dogs is pretty goofy, but you guys really fucking <laughs> screwed the pooch on Unity. And the last little bit is that there might be a new PlayStation Move. Yeah, um, I don't really know too much about it, but, I mean, I can tell you off the top, like, I don't like motion controls. Yeah, I'm not into any of that. Motion controls, motion yeah. control games, just don't sit right with me. Not in the sense of, like, because I'm, I'm too much of a hardcore gamer, but in the sense of, look at gaming as a whole. Look at the industry as a whole. When have they been good? It's only primarily been on the Wii. Yeah, and it's And been, they forced and that, you to. And that was, like, gimmicky stuff. Yeah, it's gimmicky. Uh, it's like people, how people are with 3D movies. It's for those casuals, man. It's for the people that are like, hey, you want to play some... <laughs> Go! Some, you want to play some tennis? Woo! I'm you know? bowling! And that's fine if that demographic is really feeling for it. Yeah. But because they're not even vocal, <laughs> yeah. you can't really make an educated guess to say, yes, they're going to want this. Because you have no fucking clue. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day. I mean, connect... The, you know what we want with the Kinect. Take the shit off! Yeah. <laughs> you think PlayStation Move's gonna be any different? You think, mm. you think uh, they're gonna come out with another uh, Nintendo console that generates more motion control? No. No. We already came out, didn't want to do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it. it's... Ugh. That's about it, right? Yeah, that's it. So that's our quick fire fucking... Um, new stuff yeah uh make sure to like like comment comment subscribe subscribe let us know if you guys have something of interesting maybe news related that you know you felt deserved to be covered and we'll talk about it in the comments below check us out on this is the itch on twitch we do new videos <laughs> thanks for watching bye